Hi, my name is Christina Morrison, and I'm an Intuit Certified Pro Advisor. I specialize in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Modern Secretary provides free trials and can facilitate demos. We offer customized service packages to meet your setup, training, and support needs. Before we begin the gift certificate, I'd like to show you how to avoid problems. We're currently working in Point of Sale 2013 multi-store level, and I'm logged in as sysadmin. What we'll need to do initially is run a report called Payments, scrolling down to Gift Certificate List. You may not have anything on here if you haven't redeemed any gift certificates, in which case you're going to say, I want to set report access levels. It's imperative that every employee can run this report if they are using your cash register and buying or selling and a, re a gift certificate might be redeemed. If at the time a gift certificate is being redeemed, you require an assistant manager, owner, or manager to um, help them, then you would change the security and leave it at medium or higher. But low security employee to run this report is important because they can see what the current value is left on that gift certificate. So moving forward, we're going to make a sale. I'm going to select an item from my item list. And I'm going to choose an item that is more than the value of the gift certificate I'm receiving. And I'm going to apply a customer. Using gift as a payment method, because we know we're redeeming a gift certificate, we're going to have to enter the amount. Now, we don't know the value on that gift certificate or whether or not it's been redeemed already. So we're going to hit the report, run the payment report that says gift certificate list, and look up her gift certificate number, which is 555-1212, and see that I have a $50 credit still. So when I'm redeeming this gift certificate, I'll enter $50 and the gift certificate number, and save. And that will leave me with a $31 balance. You can see here that the total was $75. She, she was charged sales tax on that balance. Here's our new amount, minus the $50, and the, payment, the balance of her payment will be made with cash. I'm going to go ahead and save. There's no need for me to print this receipt. But if I run my report again, over under reports, payment, gift certificate list, we'll see that that gift certificate, 555-1212, has a zero balance. Now, if I had allowed that to redeem the full $81 that was the balance of her checkout, I would have had a negative uh, amount, which is similar to what you were seeing on one of my other sales. So that is how you sell, uh, redeem a gift certificate in QuickBooks Point of Sale 2013 Pro or Mobile Store. And again, like I said, it's important that you initially turn on the ability for all employees to view that report so that they can check the gift certificate balance at the time of redemption. Modern Secretary offers training and support packages starting at just $99. Check our website for additional training videos upcoming webinar events, or more information about our current products and services. You can also email us at support at modernsecretary.com. We would love the opportunity to facilitate your next software purchase. Please visit our website and use our easy shopping cart to purchase software. If you have questions about which version is right for you, please call one of our enthusiastic representatives with your question or email us at sales at modernsecretary.com. If you found this video helpful, please write a review or like us on Facebook.